What else do you do when your team fails to qualify for the World Cup? You make up your best non-World Cup qualifying starting 11. In goals, we have Gigi Buffon because who would have a starting 11 anywhere in the world without the legendary goalkeeper? It's a sad state of affairs that he's not going to be uh, at his last ever World Cup, but he's got a medal. He's already got one. Winner's medal. I'm sure he can wipe his tears away with that. At the back, I'm going to go with a 4-3-3 here. So my four at the back, I'm going to start at the right back position, David Alaba. He won't be at the World Cup. Always a exciting player to watch. Very versatile. Could have fit in anywhere on this back line. And then my two centre backs are going to be Bonucci. Arguably the best defender in the world. Will not be qualifying uh, as Italy disastrously failed to qualify for the first time in, what, 60 plus years. Alongside him, former Celtic man Virgil van Dijk who Holland International set the Premier League alight since he's went there. Did not mean for that to rhyme. Who cares? So he's not going to be that. And I'm going to continue the trait because I don't care if you're telling me that there's better players. I'm going to include a Scottish player because if I'm going to have a non-World Cup starting 11, Scotland's going to get represented, okay? And the, other, the man in there is Kieran Tierney. I will... I'd hate to say it. Celtic fans will not like me for it, but he's a phenomenal talent. Uh, Hard-working, left-back, up and down. Great engine on him, great footballing head. I would be lucky, I think, if Celtic get another one or two years out of him before he's snapped up by another club. Uh, but who knows? He's a Celtic loyal. Uh, he's been a boyhood hero. Uh, hero. Um, I think, well, a boyhood fan and now come hero. So, could stay on just based on loyalty alone. And then we move into the midfield. Three in the middle. Uh, Arturo Vidal, Marco Verratti, Christian Pulisic. What a midfield duo. Trio. Duo, trio. Verratti, Italy. Uh, Vidal not qualifying for Chile, which was an even bigger shock than most people. Like Italy, I understand it, but Chile, back-to-back -back Copa America champions. Like I'm not taking anything away from Italy going out. That was horrible, but Sweden, deservedly so, went through. They were phenomenal over both legs. Chile, on the other hand, you just expect them to go through. They're so, I think, in a way, consistent. Uh, and when it comes to South American football, the way they boss the Copa America for the last two years and boss most teams that they play against, and they were they would have been a dark horse for most teams, uh, most people putting a bet on in the World Cup. I think so. It's sad that they're not going to qualify. And then Pulisic, regardless of whether you think there could be better players in there, tons of great midfielders could have made this list. But Pulisic, you want to watch him play, and he would have been captivating uh, in the World Cup. I mean, he carried the U.S. At such a young age, already the weight of the most expected nation in the world. There are all these fans that just expect the US to be brilliant at soccer based on this young, I'm calling it soccer, said America. Okay, okay. Based on this young man's shoulders. So sad not to have him there. And then front three, I mean, this team could compete. I swear to God, when I'm looking at it here, I, I assembled it and I'm thinking, I would love to manage this team. Alexis Sanchez, again, same boat as Vidal. Not playing uh, after not qualifying with Chile. Gareth Bale, many people would have expected Wales to go on and qualify out of the British teams, especially how good they performed in the Euros, but just couldn't seem to cut it. And then up top, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Tough odds for him to try and lead his nation to the World Cup. Not exactly blessed with phenomenal talent around him, but he is undoubtedly one of the most exciting strikers in the world, and it will be sad not to see him in a World Cup. And as for this team as a whole, assemble it, put it together, see what happens. Comment below, anyone I missed out, Honourable mention to Arjen Robin. Sad not to see him play in a World Cup uh, again, I think. Uh, well, he's retired, so he has. He never really had that last shot to right the wrongs of that missed chance in the 2010 World Cup. Comment below. <laughs>